here's a little video on how I fill up my paints because so, they're pretty empty. So I'm going to start off with the farthest one, I guess, it is, is this light blue, which is this one. It's called Cerulean Blue. Um, tap Cerulean Blue. So now I'm going to focus on this. Lock in. Okay. So open it up. Kyle should go use your teeth. Now you do like toothpaste, you squeeze from the bottom, get as much as you can, and move these out of the way, get closer. What you do is you squeeze and you push down as much, this one's almost empty so it's tricky. It's liquid but you want it to get in every single corner. See if I can get it right in there. Um, I'm going to bend. I'm going to empty it. It's, it could even, if you really want to, you could cut it open and get every last bit of paint in there. But ain't nobody got time with it. Ah, so this is a. It's like the the. These are metal. These things. It's metal. It's not plastic. So this one's hard to squeeze out. Squeeze. Probably use a tool of some sort. I, that's enough for now, okay? There's still tons of paint left in that. All right. Now, uh, focus on this one. All right, now I'm gonna get this one. This is uh, emerald green. Perfect. I've gotta use my teeth. Okay, so that's open. And this is my green, like this one, squeeze from the bottom. Try to get, no, I push it down. There. Corners. Now still have tons of paint in there for many, many paintings. Lasts forever. I'm trying to not squeeze it too tight because it's impossible to open. Okay, now I have some of this. It's called Fallow Yellow, but it's actually like a lime green. Not sure what fallow yellow so again this one is also this is grum grum butcher it's not uh linsard newton but i like this one pushing it down filling it up it's good for me i'm gonna close it and then now i have this one over here, it's called Maple's Yellow, and I'm putting that up. I have to use my teeth again. So again, the top, push it to the bottom, squeezing it down. Fill up all. This is like a beige color. I really like it. I use it for a lot of skin. Okay, so I'm gonna close this here. And then I have, this one is Crimson, Crimson Hue. This is Crimson Hue. I'm going to put that into its spot. I just remember where it goes, so. Okay, that's maybe too full. This one is Cadmium Yellow in here. Squeeze from the top. I don't want to leave that pointy thing, so squish it down. It's kind of annoying to paint. So I'm going to close it over there. I need black. This is just Artist Loft. I don't have any uh, Windsor Newton black. So once I'm all done, my Artist Loft, I don't need to waste. So I could give it to my daughter, but yeah, just going to fill it. Fill it up. I use lots of black. I don't like when it's a big pointy though, so I kind of move it around to get to all the corners and there. okay, that's good enough. Close that up. This is my crim crimson, I mean or a yellow ochre. Fill up this one, push it all the way down. It's a lot more vibrant colors when it's wet. Why some people paint right when it's wet, but I just feel like that's using so much color. Um, I can, my 
my teeth. <laughs> Blah, that's, my, uh, that's burnt sienna. And I'm going to go right to here. I just remember where they all go because I use it all the time. But you could also make yourself a little tableau, a little paper saying each color where they go. All right. Now what else am I missing? I have some. This is Davy's Gray. What is it? The focus every time. It's annoying. This is Davy's Gray. I don't have place in my palette for gray for now. Um, so I'm just gonna. I might make another palette because I really want some gray. This one here is Opera Rose. It's my teeth. I still have a lot of rose in here, but I'll just fill it up anyway. So pretty. And I don't. I'm done. Yeah, I'm gonna pause this. This one is Artist Loft Burnt Sienna. Okay. It even looks softer. Like I can push it into the corners without getting it all over the container. All right. And then I want. Oh, I just filled that. Okay. This is Sap Green from Artist. Uh, I'm just going to squirt that in there. I think the color that used to be there was olive green. This is Sap Green from Essentials Royal Langer Nickel. <laughs> uh, just a different company. I'm going to finish off my olive green bottle and just put empty it in there. This is Monte Mart. Monte Mart. I'm just going to squirt it in there. This is not the color that actually goes in there. I think it's sap green. But honestly, my sap green's right here. And it's so dry in there. I think I think there was a crack in the side. So it just dried all the paint on the inside. So what I'll either do is cut open the metal. And then use everything in there. It's very hard. It won't squeeze out. Either I'll do that or I'll just throw it out and buy another one. Um, this is not quite quality that I want anyway. This yellow here is called Fast Yellow. I'm just going to fill it up. It's very bright. I have lots of yellows. I like yellows. Fast Yellow and it's Montemart. So it's a company probably from Michaels. I did not fill up this blue because I don't have any left and I really like that blue. I don't remember what it's called, but I'm going to go look for it at the store. It's a dark blue. It's not Prussian. That one's Prussian blue. Um, this one here is sort of like a pinky purple. Now it has some blue that went into it before, but I, it's not my favorite. So I'm just going to use it until it's empty and then, um, like put a different color, maybe that gray or something. I don't know. And that's dark purple. And I also just want to kind of want to empty it. So I'm not filling them all perfectly, but they look pretty good. If you fill it too full, then there's like no room for the water to sit in there. So I, yeah. This one, I don't have any left either, but that's okay. I'll, I'll fill it with another blue at another time. So that's how I fill my water paints, and I put them all in here. So that's, that's my store, and I'm sticking to it. Have a good day. Bye.